And I'd like to raise a very specific uh, case, uh, a man called Andy Hall, who was working for a Finnish NGO in Thailand, and he did nothing more than write a report, but he wrote a report about a fruit company in Thailand, criticizing the labor conditions. He's in court in Thailand, not just charged with civil offenses, but with criminal offenses uh, in terms of inciting uh, labor unrest and labor uh, and, and questioning the company's uh, bona fides. Uh, I think it's very disturbing that a academic, which is essentially what he is, writes a report criticizing the current situation of labor rights and both his freedom of speech and his liberty is put in danger uh, and if there's anything Thai parliamentarians can do to raise this I would be uh, extremely uh, grateful. Suomeen tuodaan paljon tuotteita kaukasista maista kuten Thaimaasta ja niitä myydään erittäin halvalla hinnalla suomalaisissa vähittäiskaupan ketjuissa. Me haluttiin Finwatchissa selvittää, millä tavalla suomalaiset ketjut ja supermarketit huolehtii ö, yritysvastuustaan. Lisäksi me haluttiin kertoa niitä tarinoita, joita näiden yksittäisten tuotteiden takaa löytyy. Eli millaiset ihmiset, millaisissa olosuhteissa on tehnyt niitä tuotteita, joita me joka päivä käytetään. Finwatch conducted a field research in Thailand in late 2012. Migrant labor specialist Andy Hall was in charge of the worker interviews. Thailand is a big supplier, uh, the biggest supplier to the US market, also to uh, the second biggest is the European market. Um, so a lot of goods are coming into Europe from Thailand, particularly seafood, uh, fruit, pineapple, uh, rubber. Um, and then Thailand is, is uniquely placed next to Myanmar, which is, you know, until recently was a military dictatorship of six decades. So it meant that they have a, a, a population which was very passive, the population that was desperate. And that uh, has been an enabling factor in allowing people to be able to abuse workers very severely uh, without uh, any, uh, any negative impact on them. So, I mean, the Thai government and the Thai industry has been unique, unique in that it's had access to this very exploitable workforce. But if we're looking at really export-orientated factories that are based on labour-intensive work, particularly work that's done in dirty, dangerous, hot, um, smelly conditions, that's something which generally migrant workers are, are now doing because uh, domestic workers are not choosing to do that work anymore. Um, and generally there's a very much a power um, by the management over workers. There's very little collective organisation of workers. Uh, workers cannot stand up to their rights um, and there's a lot of intimidation, union busting, uh, violence that's directed against work activists or people who are trying to fight for the rights of workers. So there's a very unequal power between management and workers. You know, some uh, employers in Thailand, some big companies in Thailand, they don't see the migrant workers almost as uh, not like equal humans, you know, they, so they abuse them. Finwatch commissioned Andy Hall to interview the workers of a company called Natural Fruit in Thailand. They run a factory that produces pineapple concentrate for Finnish companies. The workers were met outside the factory in a place where they could speak safely. <laughs> Uh, Natural Fruit Company was a company uh, which my research would suggest the management um, had a very uh, poor attitude towards uh, respecting the rights of the workers. They used the workers as a product, as, as uh, machines. Um, they didn't respect their human rights. Um, and so the systems in that factory and, and many of the, 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 the ways in which they treated the workers were, were particularly negative. Um, so there was a lot of uh, use of uh, child labour uh, reported in the interviews, um, undocumented workers. Um, a lot of deductions, and unlawful deductions, sit situations of debt bondage, um, migrants reported violence and discrimination and, um, you know, really negative conditions of working. European companies were quick to respond to the findings of the research. 
SOK reagoi tähän raporttiin hyvin avoimesti, eli, eli ihan, ihan tervetullut raportti ja, ja, ja kiitetään siitä tekijöitä ja, ja ne asiat, mitä siinä raportissa tuotiin esille, niin, niin kaikki on käyty läpi meidän tavarantoimittajien kanssa ja, ja, ja lähdetty katsoa meidän omaa, omaa toimintaa ja nykykäytäntöä, että onko niissä mahdollisesti muutettu. This report and natural fruits poor working conditions also raised the interest of the international community. Um, I think the research had an impact, more of an impact that's come because of the negative response from natural fruit towards me, in particular the filing of uh, criminal and civil cases, which has again raised the profile of the difficult situation in Thailand and the way in which um, powerful people abuse power and abuse the legal system to, to try to silence activists. So I think the fact that the case has been brought against me has, has, has increased or uh, increased the publicity or increased the impact of the research. Tässä tilanteessahan sattuu vielä niin otollisesti, että oltiin aloittamassa juuri vapaakauppaneuvottelut Taimaan kanssa ja tietenkin silloin kun jostakin tällaisesta neuvottelutilanteesta lähdetään liikenteeseen, niin silloin pitää ehdottomasti nostaa ihmisoikeuskysymykset ja eettiset kysymykset pöydälle. Et Euroopan unioni ei voi edistää sellaista vapaakauppaa, jossa ihmisoikeuksia poljetaan tai jossa ei pidetä reilun kaupan säännöistä kiinni. Ja, ja tietenkin sitten se tieto pitää saada myöskin niin kuluttajille, että minkälaisissa olosuhteissa tuotetaan näitä tuotteita, joita Eurooppaan tuotetaan. Me ollaan oltu Finwatchissa todella tyytyväisiä tämän raportin saamaan vastaanottoon ja halutaan kannustaa komissiota pitämään ihmisoikeusasioita esillä. Taimaan kanssa käytävissä kauppaneuvotteluissa. Samalla kuitenkin on tärkeää muistaa, että tässä ei kysymys pelkästään ananasmehusta tai edes Taimaasta, vaan yritysvastuu sääntelyyn tulisi saada rakenteellisia muutoksia. Me nähdään, että yrityksiltä tulee vaatia pakollista ihmisoikeusriskien arviointia ja ne yritykset, jotka syyllistyvät ihmisoikeusloukkauksiin, tulisi saada tehokkaasti oikeuden eteen. So certainly the companies that employ the workers, they could have more respect for their human rights and their human dignity and not just look at getting the cheapest labour costs at the highest exploitation. But also the governments of these countries um, who are present in these overseas countries who know about the situation of rights violations should be doing as much as they can to make their own companies aware of the risks of investing and uh, importing products from these at-risk countries. There's not so much commitment to uh, addressing these issues, whether it be in relation to corruption or the rule of law. These are issues that there needs to be a commitment by the government, by the people in power. That could be something that can happen immediately. Um, certainly to change the culture is going to take time, but you know you have to start from a commitment from the leadership which can be immediate, and we haven't seen that yet. Natural Fruit continues its operations in Thailand. No charges have yet been brought against the company. The legal process against Andy Hall continues. The European Union has launched free trade agreement negotiations with Thailand.